Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're doing some makeup today. Inspired by the zodiac sign Aries. Right now I'm just putting on concealer. Using a lot of uh, the Morphe 350 palette today. All over my eyes, really. I'm just gonna point to each shade as I use them. Let's be real, I didn't know what I was doing here, but you know, I gave it a try. I wouldn't call this a tutorial so much as inspiration and inspiration. Me being inspired by the Aries Zodiac sign, it didn't turn out exactly like I wanted. I was aiming for a little bit more of a burgundy look, but well, here we are. Right now I'm just putting a brown transition shade into the crease there. And now I'm going to use my finger, my wetted finger, to put on the main star of the show, this beautiful shimmery red color that is a little bit lighter than I thought it was, and a little less burgundy than I wanted, but you know, it looks good. Blendy the edges, take this Coastal, Ses Coastal Scents Blush and Contour Palette, try to redden it up, didn't quite work, but you know, an effort was made. Blend, 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 blend. Just lots of blending. I know that Aries season is kind of over. This is a little late, but you know, I do my best. Well, no, I don't, but anyway. Using the Smashbox Primer Oil to prime my face, and obviously I'm not a huge fan of it. It just it felt oil. It felt like oil. Using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in shell ivory which is kind of a shade too dark for me as you can see on my neck I'm buffing that in with a brush because this foundation with a sponge does not work on me it just it just ruins the sponge I don't know what that's all about but you know I'm not a huge fan of this foundation but I want to get it used up so it'll be gone <laughs> and then using the same wet and wild photo focus concealer light ivory which is also kind of a shade too dark that I would like. And just a dot on the nose for some strange reason. But really covering up the under eyes there. More than I normally would. Using my foundation brush at first, just to blend the majority of it right there, but then taking a smaller brush right under the eyes. And right out into the to the no man's land. Taking this Ofra Pressed Powder Oil Control, it's super super white powder so I use it often with these Wet n Wild stuff because it kind of gives me a white cast. Back into the pretty shade with a wetted brush just to get that color all over. Beautiful. Pretty color. I really wanted a red look for Aries because <clears throat> I associate Aries with red. Taking this reddish brown under my eyes, just lining it with this pencil brush right here. To really give that full f fancy makeup look. Look, I know what I'm doing. No, I don't. And then blendy blending that out a little bit. Just floofy floofy. then into the Studio Make It palette with my favorite black eyeshadow that I use as eyeliner because, you know, we couldn't be too fancy. It's me, so we could only be so fancy. And honestly, this is the only way I know how to put on eyeliner at this point. I mean, I still can't do wing liner, but you know. Taking a tiny bit on just the outer corner under my eye as well, and fluffing that out. I'm taking this Doucet Max Lash Volumizer Mascara, because lashes are the most important part of any makeup look, as far as I'm concerned. So they must be fluffy. Very, very fluffy. And I like to blink into the mascara. I think that works best, personally. Though, gosh, my forehead wrinkles. Oh god. 
I need to stop lifting my eyebrows, just like in general. But you can really see the fluffy difference there. Yep, just floofing those lashes. This section got really long for some reason, but it's it's very important, that's why. And then taking this, I think, cover girl fibers little mascara that I did not do the product showing of, but I do it later when I add more. But I'm using it on my bottom lashes for now. Oh yeah, let's contour with this Avon eyeshadow palette that I don't know the name of because this is what I use for contour, because it's just the perfect contour shade that I found so far, because it's a little bit ashier, not too orange, because mm, a lot of contour-y looking shades and bronzers are just so orange, and they just, they don't, they don't do my face, oh, goodness gracious, they don't do my face well, but this one really does, because it's not particularly orange, it's super coolly undertoned. Taking my fluffy, fluffy brush there, and dabbing it into that blush again. Adding it. Pat, 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 pat. Dab, 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 dab. Right into there. Try to redden up the cheeks, but not really put on blush, because I don't really like putting on blush on the apples of the cheeks. And then aggressively blending it. Blend, 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 blend. Blend like your life depends on it. And then I'm going into pop of orange, just pop, pop, pop. Just to warm it up to match the eyes a little bit and then blend 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 like just 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 just, just to get rid of it and then a little bit of that white powder underneath all of that and then the city color highlight trio taking that middle shade just digging into it because highlight is super important and i don't look shiny enough already obviously on the nose too we gotta really highlight that mustache. Just highlight the crap out of the mustache. Oh, and that shiny forehead. Oh, it needs some more highlight. I don't know why it looks so shiny on camera. Oh yeah, taking that shade right there, putting it on the inner corners to make it pop. And yes, you just saw me lick it. I know. It's just it, it works really well. Eyebrows now. And I use the same contour shade. It's what I've been using lately for eyebrows just because I don't really have much else that works because anything that's too warm just makes my eyebrows look really orange and just looks like there's orange powder underneath them. So I don't know why. Even though my hair is very warm toned right now. So it's a mystery to me. There's that CoverGirl mascara that I barely showed. Thank you, Megan. I think I just got lash bits on my face. I could see them on the camera. But yeah, really try and get a little more mascara on there. Honestly, I could have done with more mascara. And then I'm lining my lips with something. I have no idea what I'm lining my lips with. Because I never line my lips ever. And I didn't. I don't know if it really helped me, so I wouldn't say it necessarily mattered in this particular instance. And then I'm taking Ofra long-lasting lipstick in Havana Nights by Kathleen Lights, which is honestly part of the inspiration for this look was this red. This is kind of the color I wanted on my eyes too, but as you can see, that didn't quite work out. And also, as we can see, I should be not allowed. I, sh I shouldn't be allowed near dark lipsticks. Good God. Because I just, oh my God, this is kind of horrifying to watch actually. Just rubbing blood all over my lips like an idiot. But it, it cleans up nice. It's fine. You see, especially with a coverall stick. Around the edges. Maybe use a wet concealer for this. I don't know. But put some kind of concealer just to fix that underline there. I've also noticed with dark lipsticks that uh, my lips are not evenly sized. I'm also going to get rid of all the red spots on my uh, chin that got from the lipstick. I think I'm also adding some the lightest powder from the Morphe palette under there to blend out. And I'm going to use some concealer to, to just cover up all that chin disaster. Just get all the blood off my chin from all the murdering. Well, my computer seems to have completely gone dark uh, in response to this video, but that pretty much completes this look. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's 
so far my best makeup videos yet, I think. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye! I don't know how I feel about this music playing out loud. I'm so used to just listening to music on earbuds. <laughs> and I pinched it. Son of a Do you see it? Do you see it? Ah, God. There it is. Oh, it hurts. Oh, wow. That's a good pinch. The phone, you know, you don't call because he's drunk and alone. Don't let him in. You have to kick him out again. Don't be his friend. Perfect. So here's the look. Turned out really nice. Am I wheezing in my- I never took my morning medication. Oh shit, my asthma.